Damn it. What's wrong with you? Sit your ass down. Sit down. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Danny Divine. Welcome to the Danny Divine Show. Today, we're talking about two things. We're talking about immigration and my last recent video that I did. First of all, my last recent video that I did, I want to say that if I was cursing a lot on the video, or if I was being too blunt, I am just, I'm sincerely sorry. And I'm going to be more subjective towards my videos that I'm doing. And I am also going to be more... I try to be as careful as I can with my words. And if I do curse here and there, uh, I'm not saying it to disparage people or to say something bad about people. It's just sometimes on the heat on the conversation, I just let myself go. So, yeah, I want to say that I apologize for that. Let's talk about it. Immigration. Let me start with immigration first. Because most people keep on screaming saying immigration is... Um, say some immigration policies that people are putting in are immoral um so um we should like they expect most countries to let uh everybody in you know like you know like for instance i'm gonna give you an example i live in, a, in my flat i'm not gonna leave my door open and let everybody walk in my flat they might steal something they might come here and want to harm me they want to do anything to me see like see your port of entry or your your fence whatever you have around your country to, to, to protect your country see it as something that it is there to protect you your family and everybody else live in that country your family yes there's gonna be some bad people in your family they're gonna commit crimes but you can't compare them towards the people who are coming in your country and committed crimes I mean they're not the same people one is your family, one is a stranger. You can't let the stranger come in your house and mess up your place and then say, oh, you're straight, just because it's a stranger, it, you're going to put them in the same moral ground as the person before they were doing something. You know what I mean? You know, like someone in your family that was doing something. It's just wrong. So immigration is a very, 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 um, it's a very hard conversation. Now, don't get me wrong. There are people who are actually running or fleeing for their life or fleeing for the situation that they are in. Am I, myself, I'm, I'm an immigrant. I'm an immigrant that, um, say, around 1996 or something, 1995 I, uh, or 1994, if I'm right, um, I immigrated to Holland, from Africa to Holland. But around that time, if you, if you check my country, Sierra Leone, we were having a war civil war which was more basically about minerals and whatsoever um watch blood diamond it's not the full story but if you watch blood diamond it will tell you each a little bit about what was going on in Sierra Leone around that time so as as the war progresses we we fled we came to holland it is it, it we didn't come straight away to holland we were had to go through a lot of other countries to come to holland that's a different story from another time so we fled and we came to Holland and uh, we came as refugees and we stay in a refugee camp, which they call in, uh, in Holland uh, AZC, Asyl Zucker Center. So refugee, uh, refugee center, whatever. Uh, you can translate it to that in English. So um, AZC. And we stayed there for, 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 for years, you know. We went from, from a refugee camp where we were living to, with a lot of people from different countries, from Somalia, from 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 everywhere there was, there was a problem from Bosnia. This was a time when I think something things were going on with Bosnia, and we lived there. And like you, you as as a child, it was fun because you get to know all these people from different tribes and this and that. You know, what I mean, you know, from even for people from Iran and all the stuff, it was yeah, they were all there. And um, and and but that was a, that was a, that was that was a. a, a a, a clear way for someone that, as for me and my family when we had when we came through when we had that war in my country and everything and then we came to Europe and this that was the way that we did it and that's how I got my uh, that's how I got my Dutch citizenship and I've lived in Holland and uh, I just, I recently eight years ago I moved out from Holland I came to UK um, just to work on my English and whatever and I've continued living here I have my family here kids here so this is the reason why I am based here now so anyway so Coming here as a, as a legal immigrant, I came to this. I came to Europe, 
and now we we seek asylum we got our papers we then were allowed to stay in holland it was great but there were also people taking the piss out of the system like say for instance there were nigerians coming and pretending to be civil unions they were also getting papers by saying that they were civil unions you know i have actually have i have actually chilled a nigerian who um he asked me where are you from i said i'm from Sierra Leone, and then he says oh i'm from Sierra Leone too so i asked him i said where in Sierra Leone are you from i could hear one's accent that he was from nigeria but i just obviously i'm not gonna like like you know what i mean just because some some of the sound a certain way does not mean that that person is actually from that place so where from Sierra Leone are you from and then he said and then he called a town i said which tribe are you because in my country in Sierra Leone, we have different tribes even though in nigeria at the same time you also have different tribes also you have like a lot of kings in nigeria um so the person and then the guy said he's from he said he was timini i said also oh, you speak timini he said yeah but not you know much this and that blah blah i said because oh, my dad is timini so as soon as i said my dad is timini his eyes went big anyway so that so immigration is immigration is is good for people who actually need it to people who are actually running or fleeing somewhere or who want to like put their family into a position what is good for them you understand you know so they can go to a country they can live, they can go and leave to a country you have all these immigrants coming from from africa and all other countries and they are dying in the sea and they, wherever they want to come to europe so badly i personally think if you get all these young young talented skilled workers from your country to leave your country if you get them all to run away from your country all these developers all these doctors all these people who have big dreams and big ideas and all the things they can actually contribute towards your country their own country if you get them all away from your country what who are you going to have left in your country that's what you need to think about and another thing is like um for my fellow africans when they come to europe they have to go through morocco all these other countries and whatever to come some of them don't even make it out of out of out of africa some of them they get hold in libya as slaves they get this and that like it's messed up but we can talk about it on a different day and a different time read a, when you read the story and you see a boat just went down and there were like 200 souls on it you understand it's hard it's painful because this, that's our family that's our people and and you and and if you were not, if you have never been a refugee or you never flee a situation like that you would never understand where these people are coming you can come and say that all oh, these people are coming to my country and steal my job and do this and do that but at the end of the day they some of most of them are actually actually fleeing poverty they want to come to a place where they can actually work and they can actually make money and they actually so they can take care of their own family so i can't you can't blame people to run away from the sh- for the mess they come from to come to your country because they see opportunity in your country so they can actually better their life and their family's life that's how you have to see it from that from that perspective and um and there is a lot of corruption in african countries you know there's 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 a lot of there's it's it's it's, there's a lot there's a lot of greed there's a lot of greed a lot of corruption a lot of a lot of bad things you know i think africa can do better um, especially with all the minerals and all the golds and all the diamonds and everything else that we have and all the oil and this and that we can do better we tend not to choose to be, do better but we can do better so immigration yeah that's the, that's how it goes and you have to understand where say for instance someone like donald trump will come from and say i want to protect my borders and my, my borders and i want to protect my people that live here it's like you know he's just thinking about his people and american people are his family now you can be black you can be white you can be mexican you can be latino you can say donald trump doesn't care he's a racist or whatsoever but end of the day you can't be racist and doing things to, to help the minority and yet you still are racist it's like me it's like donald trump curing cancer and yet he cured a lot of people with cancer and yet you're saying just because he cured cancer that means he's a cancer phobia or whatever you call it you know whatever they call that stuff you you can't you can't do that you can't keep screaming everybody's racist people need to stop saying all white people are racist not all white people are racist yes you have maybe maybe if you have 10 white people maybe there's one person that's just have an issue with black people or with, with, with foreigners in the 60s things were messed up in the 70s things was things were still messed up in the 80s things were messed up ish from say from the 90s until the 2019 that we are 
a lot of change there's a lot of black millionaires there's a lot of black people doing great things oprah real ring free is a billionaire you know if you think about what a great grandfathers and, and 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 mothers and sisters and brothers used to go through in racism times in europe and everything it was mad it was crazy like even in uk there was racism in uk the same way you had uh black people had to walk the other side of the the, pave, the pavement you know with the sidewalk as americans call it it's the same thing that was happening here you know it was the same thing was happening here they were treating the indians the same way and everything but yet they have all the indians coming in cleaning up their streets their whatever you get if you get like you know like yeah i've, I've witnessed some racist shit. last time i witnessed some racist shit was like was this was um me and my friend um his name is ashley um good guy a little bit of idiot <laughs> so i was living in kent in a place called margate seafront um we went to a house party and someone called him and he was he was like a he was like a drugs dealer but he was like the shittiest drug dealer ever he was using <laughs> this idiot was using his own product more than <laughs> he was selling it but anyway he was going to drop something down and then he asked me to go with him we went to this house and then you had you had you had a mixed race boy sitting with a, with a white chick you had a couple of white boys on the side you have uh white girls on the other side and then we just walked in and this and that and because the house that we went into was his ex-girlfriend's sister's house she was there with um she was there with his boy with her boyfriend and her and her boyfriend's friends and this and that so as I walk in the place, as I walk in the place, I don't understand why you white people think that all black people can actually rap. You understand? Don't get me wrong, I can rap, but I just don't want to walk somewhere and say to me, "Oh, speed a bar." Like nigga, please just leave me the I feel the I fuck alone. But anyway, walk in the place, I'm standing there just chilling, and I'm waiting for Ashley to go and uh, drop his thing so we can just bounce. You understand? You know? Because I didn't, f I walked in there, I didn't feel the vibe, so I, so I just like I was just chilling. I walk in there, so the girl offered me a drink. The girl that owns the house, the, um, she offered me a drink, and she was just talking to me a little bit, and then she she bounced away. And then, and then this group of white boys, they, I was standing close to, I think, a chimney. I was standing close to a chimney, um, which in UK we call fireplace. <laughs> I was standing close to a fireplace, so this this group of four white boys came up to me like yo man what's up man you good bro blah 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 we're just talking normal like shit this and that and then one of the white boys said oh yeah my boy here he's a great rapper man he spits bars i said all right cool man congratulations good for you i'm happy for you and then i don't know where this boy said to me uh uh yeah can you spit bars i said yeah depends you know like i just don't go around and just say yo i'm a rapper or i rap or whatsoever i mean come on it's like going somewhere and say oh oh it's like going somewhere and see a black person walking like yo you want to play basketball <laughs> which is just mad you know so i said to him i said um all right cool so this boy was spitting but he was like spitting um um how they call it uk garage kind of like in a way they're speaking up you know like speech uk garage thing this and that blah blah so i have that lazy flow like it depends what i'm doing so i have that lazy flow this and that so i spit that lazy rap flow blah blah where i'm rhyming and using my metaphors and blah 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 this and that and then and then the boys and then the other boys say yeah yeah shit my boy just won my boy won my boy won i'm like yo i didn't even know this shit was a competition oh okay i'm like yeah okay your boy won so good good for you i'm happy for you it's like yeah man shit and the boy's like yeah man you shit rapper this and that like bro i didn't even want to rap i just walk in this place and you literally want to rap you say speed a bar and you start speeding a bar so i speed a bar shit and i didn't have i didn't even have to speed a bar but i speed a bar you know what i mean you know and you don't like the bar speed that's your fucking problem not paying me for it and 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 then the guy was like, yeah man, yeah, yeah man, it's always you kind. I'm like, always what 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 what? Why did this conversation went? The conversation went from whatever to me to always it's always your kind. I'm like I'm like I'm like so I said to myself, yo, what do you mean, bro? 
What do you mean it's always your kind? What the heck is what's wrong with you? She's and then he this guy is saying, Yeah, we don't want your kind here. You need to go. Whoa. I said, like, what do you mean your kind? So it's like, yeah, man, yeah. This mofo said to me, like, you're black piece of shit, this and blah blah blah, this and that. So I was getting, I was getting like, I was getting hot. I was really, really, really getting hot. I was getting pissed off. So I look at my friend Ashley because Ashley was off his, Ashley was off his face. He was like, he was under the influence of the shit that he sell because he brought his shit to sell there, and then he used his shit too. To, when he brought his shit to sell, I think that he went in, the, he went in the toilet and then did a gear or something, and then uh, and and then the mixed race boy was sitting there just looking at me like this. And that. Yo, man, I'm like, first of all, I'm thinking like, yo, this mix, like, there's a half, there's a half black boy sitting there with a white girl looking at me like he also give me that feeling like i don't belong there this and that this and that i'm like nigga you don't belong anywhere like but anyway like he's looking that way so i i said cool i said to ash and then and then the girl that has the house she heard the rumbling going and she comes she's she 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 came and she says to the to the guys don't talk to him like that this and that so the girl that has a house she was defending me she was literally fighting for me i like, don't talk to him like that who the hell do you think you are she's telling her boyfriend talk to your friends to act normally or this and that you know and she's apologizing to me this and that she's really really apologizing so that's why when people say everybody's racist i don't think so so the other guys they saw what this boy said was wrong but at the same time it's their friend they want to defend him too what you think is wrong like yo like if you're white and you have friends that has some bias against other people that have a little bit of color like me stay the fuck away from them because they're gonna make you look bad because at the end of the day if you go somewhere and this mofo this idiot that you chill with says something wrong to someone that doesn't even deserve it my friend you're gonna get looked at as if you're part of the problem so stay away from people like that just stay away from people like that and pl- and point them out Tell them like, yo, I'm not chilling with this crap. I'm not dealing with this. Like, you know what I mean? You know, I'm not saying that you have to say that to prove yourself like you no know, racist. But if you know if you're not down with that, just don't roll with people like that. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna go with. If my friend is is a thief and he always goes and steal, I'm not rolling with him. I'm sorry, I'm not rolling with him because I know I don't want to go in prison. I don't want one day he's gonna go and steal something from someone that he shouldn't have stole from, and the person is looking for him now just because I was with him. And now I am also a target. Nah, mm, 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 mm. I love my life too much. I stay away from people like that. And I mean, so anyway, my name is Danny Divine. This is the Danny Divine Show. Thank you for watching. Please press like, comment, whatever, because you don't know nothing what I'm talking about. Now, right? Yes, press like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.